In this edition of Hariba Raman Academy, we are again looking at a silicon test structure that's constructed of polysilicons, polysilicon 1, polysilicon 2, uh, substrate silicon in this green area, and then grown silicon and oxides, and an implant area. And the dimensions are roughly 20 micrometers wide and about 30 micrometers high. And again, the excitation wavelength for our generation of the Raman image and all the hyperspectra, uh, hyperspectral data set that we have here uh, is 532 nanometer excitation with 500 millisecond integration time. So each spectrum that you see when I move the cursor will be a result of one half of a second integration and the image that uh, that we gener generated here is a, is a result of moving the optical stylus or moving the stage I should say relative to the optical stylus in uh, 200 nanometer increments. Alright so let's start with the cursor on the silicon substrate and you can see we bracketed that red area for that silicon and the emphasis in this video is about image registration and by that I mean to say the registration of the Raman image that you see here with the reflected light image and so to, to get an appreciation for that I'm going to move the cursor around and I'm moving it on the Raman image and you see th where it shows up on the right on the corresponding reflected light image and you can see that the registration is in fact quite good. Uh, so now as we've moved from the silicon substrate onto the polysilicon you see how that is manifest in the shape of the Raman band above and then we move over to the other uh, double layer if you will of polysilicon and across this this interface and as we move around this polysilicon you can see, or what I would like to draw your attention to, is that as I move the cursor around, you can see the location on the corresponding uh, visible light image. All right. So now as we move into the implant, you can see from the spectrum here that it's uh, highly disordered as a result of a high energy arsenic implant. And so the first order Brillon's own center mode is significantly decreased. And now with all the disorder, uh, the entire Brillon zone becomes Raman active. And so all those phonons can now be detected in what ultimately looks, it will approach an amorphous silicon spectrum. Now, as we're moving the cursor around here, I want you to see that this implant is asymmetric too. That is to say it's a little shorter on this side than on this side and that's exactly how it appears in the reflected light image. So as I move the cursor along the border of the implant you can see the difference in the reflectivity on the reflected light image and you can see how the implant goes down into the polysilicon as well. What I'd also point out is that there are little flecks that you might be able to pick up here in the reflected light image and there is a direct correspondence in the registration in the Raman image. All right, and up here as well. Now let's take a look at the uh, at the polysilicon. So if we move over to this polysilicon uh, image where I say polysilicon because we've bracketed this green area which is shifted to lower energy relative to the substrate silicon. Here's where you can begin to see something very important both in the image and in the spectra. And that really has to do with the, the thickness of the film. So if you look at our image here you could see that in the corner it looks a little darker and that's because if you look at the spectrum or spectra in this region what we're basically seeing is that the polysilicon is much thinner where on this edge relative to most of the rest of the polysilicon feature so that the Raman image 
and the contrast that you see corresponds precisely with the relative intensities of the of the substrate silicon band which is coming through underneath the polysilicon and then the the shifted polysilicon as well and uh, as before if we if we take a look at the uh, if we take a look at the implant area I've bracketed that with blue and so now if we t look at the green to blue ratio then what we should expect to see is that in the implant region uh, it should appear very dark compared to the other regions and if we use these band ratios you can see some very interesting things you can see the contrast that appears right here on the border of the grown silicon with the substrate silicon and you can see the little defect on the corner and you can see these changes in the uh, thickness or thinness of the polysilicon as well as the defects over here. Well I hope this demonstration has been helpful to you in being able to appreciate the importance of Raman imaging and the registration of a Raman image relative to the reflected light image so that when obtaining Raman images uh, one knows that the fidelity of that Raman image is as good as an optical image that one obtains.